Grammy nominations are out, and the competition between the pop girls this year is insane. But let's see for ourselves and go through the most popular categories for pop and rap, starting heavy with Song of the Year. We have a bar song Tipsy, Birds of a Feather, Die with a Smile, Fortnite, Good Luck Babe, Not Like Us, Please Please Please, and Texas Hold'em. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of song categories. We still have Record of the Year, Pop Solo Performance of the Year, but Song of the Year is more about the composition and the songwriting. I think they'd give this one a Fortnite by Taylor Swift. Now I don't think Taylor will get many awards this time around just because of the heavy, heavy competition, but this one she can get. So Fortnite, I'll predict. Best New Artist also has so many crazy good contenders. The one I'm not really familiar with is Kruangbin. I don't know. Definitely pronounced that wrong. But I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say Chapel Roan because I mean her come up story is insane. She skyrocketed the most this year after literally being dropped from her label, working at a donut shop while writing her recent album. Like that's crazy. So yeah, I think Chapel Roan got it. Next is Album of the Year. This is just insane to look at. I mean, the ones that catch my attention are Short and Sweet, Brat, Hit Me Hard and Soft, Rise and Fall, Tortured Poets. Ah, oh, man. Um... Billie gets awarded so much by the Grammys, and her last album was amazing and so well-crafted. I really think they'd give this to her. Although I'd love for also Chapels or Tortured Poets to win, both for very different reasons, obviously. But I predict Hit Me Hard and Soft takes this one. And next is Pop Solo Performance. A lot of lovely songs that I'd love to see win. We have Bodyguard, Espresso, Apple, Birds of a Feather, and Good Luck Babe. When I think of Pop Solo, I think of Espresso and how crazy it went this year. Sabrina is a pop princess of our dreams, as Taylor Swift said. But this song really took Sabrina's career to the next level, and it's as pop as pop can be, so espresso. Next is Best Pop Duo Group Performance. Man, I can't believe Us with Gracie and Taylor is nominated, and I have this fever dream where they win, but it's so unlikely, but I'd love that. We have Levi's Jeans, Guess, The Boy Is Mine, Die With A Smile. Hmm, I'd say this one is between Guess and Die With A Smile. I'm gonna say Die With A Smile because not only is it amazing and it has two goats of music, Music, but it's already surpassed a billion streams on Spotify in like three months and it's been charting for so long So yeah, it was a massive success die with a smile now best pop vocal album This one is crazy short and sweet hit me hard and soft eternal sunshine rise and fall the tortured poets I feel like the Grammys doesn't really like Ariana Grande that much though They've snubbed her quite a bit and she's only had two wins despite her being one of the most talented singers to ever touch a mic But this category has Sabrina Billy Ariana Chapel Taylor. Man, when they said pop, they really weren't joking. You know, I think they'd give this one to Sabrina Carpenter, Short and Sweet. It's a pretty solid pop vocal album that, like I said, really took Sabrina to the next level this year. But yeah, Short and Sweet. Producer of the year, I'd say Daniel Nigro. He made the entirety of Chapel Roan's album, also Olivia Rodrigo's entire discography. I don't think he did Conan's new album, but I know they've made some really good bangers. Surprise Jack Antonoff isn't nominated, by the way. That's a first. Songwriter of the year, I'll say Amy Allen. I mean, she she wrote Espresso, Please Please Please, Taste, and all of Sabrina's album practically. I also think she wrote Greedy by Tate McRae, so she's honestly the queen of pop writers. Best dance pop recording, this one I think I'd hope they give to Charlie or Ariana. It would be cool to see Madison Beer get it though, Make You Mine Was Fire. However, I think Von Dutch by Charlie XCX wins best dance pop recording. That got me on my feet. <laughs> Best Dance Electronic Album. I think we can all safely say Brat is going to take this home. If it doesn't, there will be riots, and I will be on the front lines of those riots. Kidding. But yeah, Brat. Best Rap Song. Some great ones. Some great ones, not going to lie. Off the Dome, I see Carnival. Like that, not like us. But I don't think anything comes close to the sound and the overall impact Not Like Us had on the world. So yeah, Not Like Us, Kendrick Lamar. Record of the Year. Unlike Song of the Year, this is more about the specific recording of the song song, and it recognizes the producers and the engineers. The Beatles being on here is so random, first off. Uh, but yeah, we have Now and Then, Texas Hold'em, Espresso, 360, Birds of a Feather, Not Like Us, Good Luck Babe, and Fortnite. But I think this one's between Birds of a Feather by Billie Eilish and Dispresso by Sabrina Carpenter. But I already said Espresso. Would they give this to Charlie XCX? I don't think so. I predict Birds of a Feather by Billie Eilish because the production on this was excellent. It's been charting for a while on the radio, and I haven't predicted it for anything. But yeah, winner, Birds of a Feather by Billie Eilish. Uh, but that's all the major categories. I'll probably do a more in-depth prediction video closer to the Grammys next year. Uh, but thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Later.